Lesson number five, making more food. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to recall the factors that limit the rate of photosynthesis and explain how food produced in greenhouses and fish farms captures energy efficiently. Hundreds of square kilometres in southern Spain have been covered by greenhouses called polytunnels. They are used to grow crops like tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers and melons, which are exported to shops in the UK. Fruit and vegetables grown this way can be produced almost all year round. The greenhouses are designed so that they produce crops in the most energy efficient way. Their clear polythene walls allow through plenty of sunlight and keep in moisture. By removing the limiting factors that slow photosynthesis, the maximum sunlight energy is captured by the crops. The plants are fed with controlled levels of nutrients like phosphates and nitrates. This allows the crops to grow quickly and store the most energy possible. Intensive farming like this produces food efficiently, but some people argue that these methods harm the environment. Some farmers use oil burning heaters in their greenhouses to raise temperatures overnight and also increase carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere. Adding artificial lights even allows plants to photosynthesis at night when there is no natural light available. These methods mean energy can continue to be transferred to the plant to help it grow even faster. Salmon farmers are a good example of how animals can be intensively farmed. The salmon are fed concentrated food and kept in pens so they cannot move very much. This increases the amount of energy the salmon take in and reduces the amount of energy they lose through movement. The salmon grow bigger and faster than they would in the wild and they have fewer diseases.